Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I am the Marissa Ashley, and my channel is all about helping you find your favorite beauty products. Whether that's in hair care, skin care, fragrances, or makeup, I'm your girl. Every video is highly tried and highly researched before I even post it, so you can always count on getting the most accurate information. If you'd like to find your favorite products, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So we've all been there, we've all been trying to find a great leave-in conditioner and sometimes it's hard because sometimes we don't always get what we're looking for in certain ones. So today I have my personal top five leave-in conditioners. These are also ranked from not so great to best. And even the not so great ones are still great ones. These are just my personal top five. So number five on my list is IGK Good Behavior 4-in-1 Prep Spray. This one is available at Ulta, Sephora, and Amazon, and the 7 ounce bottle is for $32. It is a great leave-in conditioner, however, the one thing that I highly dislike about this leave-in conditioner is that if sprayed too much, it can leave a greasy residue on the hair, which obviously that's something that nobody really wants. It does have key ingredients such as spirulina protein, which helps strengthen and nourish hair, and coconut oil helps to enhance shine and to make it easy for detangling without breakage. The benefits include color safe, detangling frizz control shine, heat protection, hydration, lightweight, and safe for chemically treated hair and UV protection. It is also vegan and cruelty free. There are no glutens, parabens, sulfates, SLS or SLES, petrolatum or mineral oil. Overall, this is a great leave-in and it is one of my favorites. However, like I said previously, you do need to be careful of how much you spray this in your hair just because of that greasy residue that it gets left behind. I do find that after I spray this in my hair, I do have to let this sit in my hair for about a minute so it can fully detangle. Um, it does not immediately detangle and that's another thing that I really don't like. However, it wouldn't stop me from buying it. And the other thing for me as well is I don't notice that it helps too much with the frizz in my hair. But overall, it is really a great leave-in conditioner and if you can kind of work with its little quirks, for lack of a better term, it really is great. Number four is L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free 21 in 1 Color Caring Leave In Spray. This is available at Ulta and Amazon. This is also the cheapest one on this list. You can get a 6.7 ounce bottle for $12.99. And this one really surprised me, especially for the price. It was actually really good. There are key ingredients such as almond milk and rose extract, which helps prime and perfects color treated hair. Now there are 21 benefits as stated in the title for using this, and they are as follows. Helps preserve color vibrancy, nourishes hair, instantly detangles, makes blow drying easy, moisturizes hair, provides body, no way down, primes hair for styling, reduces the appearance of split ends, adds bounce, reduces breakage by strengthening, provides up to 450 degree Fahrenheit heat protection, improves manageability, adds natural movement, creates silkiness, helps heal hair cuticle, improves softness, controls frizz, reduces static, refreshes for resiling and add shine. And there are also no sulfates, parabens, dyes, or gluten. This one, like I said, it really actually pleasantly surprised me, especially for the price. It was actually a really nice product. My only thing was I felt like it could be a dupe for Purology's Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Conditioner. And that's something that I kind of have to dig into a little bit more, but I kind of feel like it's L'Oreal's dupe of this. But that also doesn't stop from me saying that it really was a nice leave-in conditioner. It really made my hair soft, detangled really nicely, but overall it's a really great product and definitely one that if you're looking for something not so expensive, it's definitely a good way to go and definitely one that's good to try out. Number three on my list is Redken One United Multi-Benefit Treatment Spray. This is available at Ulta and Amazon. You can get a 13.5 ounce bottle for $42 and a 5 ounce bottle for $28. It's a great leave-in conditioner. I actually tried this one fairly recently and I really fell in love with this product. The key ingredient is coconut oil to help protect hair's vibrancy. This one, as stated in the title, also has multiple benefits, which are as follows. Conditions, nourishes, improves manageability, helps even out porous hair, reduces dryness, detangles, instant results, ideal cutting lotion, primes hair for styling, 
helps prevent breaking from brushing, safer color treated hair, helps prevent heat damage, helps prevent split ends, helps seal in hair cuticle, safer ombre hair, helps shield against external aggressors, gives a silky touch, adds smoothness, adds shine, helps control frizz, anti-static, controls flyaways, makes blow dry easier, style refresher, and lightweight results. This is one that I actually sprayed in my hair today. And as you can see, there's no frizziness. My hair is actually nice and smooth. I did also wash my hair today, so it was definitely more of a leave-in conditioner versus a refresher. But I can say that it definitely nourishes well. It definitely detangles really well. This is one that I definitely can see myself buying again in the future. Number two on my list is It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Product with 10 Benefits. This one is available at Ulta and Amazon. You can get a 10 ounce bottle for $40. At the time of this video posting, Amazon does have a 10 ounce bottle on sale for $25.98, but is for standard shipping and is not eligible for Amazon Prime. If you buy the 10 ounce bottle, however, from Target online, and even if you pick it up in store, you can get it for $28, which is actually a really good price on this. The four ounce bottle is also available for the original price at $21. This is overall a great leave-in conditioner. It works very well. This was one that I actually used years ago. It was my first higher-end leave-in conditioner. It does contain key ingredients like sunflower seed extract, which helps soften and add shine, green tea leaf extract, which helps shield hair from environmental damage with powerful antioxidants, silk amino acids, help restore natural moisture balance while bringing in strength and shine. Aloe vera also helps provide intense, soothing, and protective moisture. Panthenol, which is a highly effective moisturizer, fortifier, and antioxidant. Benefits include nourishing hair, heat protectant, detangler, color protectant, restores shine, natural UV protection, replaces lost proteins, enhances natural body, and helps prevent split ends. This product is also Leaping Bunny certified. This was the first, like I said before, the first more pricey leave-in conditioner that I ever tried years ago. And obviously it was way better than what was around at that time. And truthfully, I was using ones that were less expensive and I kind of live by the motto of you get what you pay for. So in this case, obviously with this being more money, it was obviously a better product. And to this day, I can still say that it remains that way. It really works wonders on my hair. It detangles really well. It leaves a lot of good shine and it really smooths out my hair. And this is one that I really still love to this day. And I'm really glad that I picked this one up again. Number one, which some people may be surprised over, but others, if you've watched some of my videos, you probably know how much I love this brand. So number one is Pureology Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Conditioner. This bottle was recently redesigned and this is the old bottle. They've made it into a different looking bottle so I just wanna clarify that. This is available at Ulta, Sephora, and Amazon. A 13.5 ounce bottle is $51 and a 6.7 ounce bottle is for $34. This one is truthfully amazing. I love this one. This does contain key ingredients such as camelina oil, which helps nourish strands, olive oil, which helps promote healthy shine and softness, and coconut oil that also helps nourish and adds moisture. This one does have 21 benefits, and this is kind of why I mentioned this one in the L'Oreal Ever Pure leave-in conditioner was because they both have the 21 benefits and they kind of seem to work similar. So this is one that I kind of want to take a deeper dive in and. Maybe if I find something interesting, I'll do a separate video just on those two. And the 21 benefits are as follows. Helps preserve color vibrancy, excellent leave-in conditioner, instantly detangles, makes blow drying easier, moisturizes parched hair, helps smooth hair fiber, weightlessly conditions, primes hair for styling, helps prevent split ends, helps prevent breakage from brushing and combing, helps strengthen the hair fiber, protects against heat damage, protects against environmental aggressors, smooths out hair surface, creates silkiness, helps seal hair cuticle, reduces dryness, controls frizz, reduces static, refreshes hair for restyling, and adds shine. It does also help balance the hair's natural pH level. It is perfect for all hair types, so regardless of what your hair type is, 
This one should also work very well for you. It contains Pureology Zero Sulfate and Antifade Complex, and it is also 100% vegan formula. This, like I said, this one is one of my all-time favorite leave-in conditioners. I've been using this one pretty steadily for a while now, and it's one that's such an easy grab because it works incredibly well. This one truly instantly detangles my hair. And for those of you who have not prone hair, long hair, or whatever type your hair is, you will thank this product. I promise you. It is also very conditioning and my hair feels super smooth and super nourished after I use this one. I really can't speak enough great things on this product. And if I don't stop now, I'll probably keep ranting about this product for a while. So I will stop. Have you tried any of these products? If you have, let me know your experiences down in the comments. Maybe you've been wanting to try one of these and you haven't really known which one to pick. If this video helped you, please let me know down in the comments as well. If you want to see some more similar content to this, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out. Thanks everyone. Until next time.